Salam, Shalom, Hotep, peace, and Sfi again. Um, been getting a couple inquiries about the yin and yang uh, piece that I did. So I'm just going to, I did a piece on both of them together, which is why the tapestry is back up behind me. Um, we're just going to concentrate on one of them. But here's the thing. <laughs> And I did. I really tried to see if I could just focus on one of them. And I'm sorry, I can't. I really can't. I can make the focus on one, but the as the principle states, they can't be without each other. So this is just on Yang, right over here, that active, dynamic, light, powerful, um, tense, uh, dramatic side of nature um, the storm the eye of the storm yang always has little yin it's the only way yang can truly exist just like with yin you cannot see or comprehend in an absolute state even if it is a yin state, it's all dark. You can't see, you can't comprehend. Even in all light, you can't see. Both of them have a blinding principle. Just like temperature. S freezer burn or cold burn. And then you have your fire burn. Two opposites, but they will burn you nonetheless. Hence, and that's something else I wanted to clear up. Uh, last time I said everything comes in pairs. I was questioned about that. You know, Fundi Fi, how do you know that? Easy. As soon as you point up, you just made down. Hence, everything is created in pairs. If I point that way, I have definitely made this way another option. Hence, pairs when beauty was born into the world her twin ugly came with her you know wisdom and ignorance and when i say ignorance that means you're not you don't know about a thing that is being ignorant of a thing they were born in, they were born together the flip side of the coin it's kind of like people try to separate God and the devil hmm well <laughs> the devil got his nature from somewhere people don't think about that do you blame the creator or the created and if the devil was created by God which is a lot of the mythos then the nature of the devil is within God because if God did not know the nature of everything he couldn't have created it does God have two sides yep you're looking at them right behind me but they are perfect in its creation again yang getting things done active um in in tai chi we are taught to try to stay in a yin state as much as possible that is being flexible and pliable being able to move yourself making your joints very fluid but we are also taught that in this expression of yin, right on the very edge of it, is yang. When a Tai Chi person touches you, you will hardly notice it because of this state of yin. But when power is issued, Fa Jing, that is that quick pow! And right back into this 
it is it's the lightning in the darkness. You see it only for a brief moment and then it dissipates. So this is the state that per se Tai Chi is emulating in that regard. Because remember, in that quick, that, that, mm, that way that hand is very soft and then you turn and you tense up on that very end that, I don't know if you guys saw that or not. It's, it, it, it's hard to translate, but it's a fajing. It's a twisting of the, of the, it's the issuing of the dantian. It is a twisting of our humanity, which is considered our waste. This is an easier state to hold for long periods of time than this one. This state requires a lot of energy, hence those, those uh, iron shirts, the karate, the taekwondo, the Thai boxing, the, uh, 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 the wrestling. This is what that requires. This is that yang state where they enter yin very little, very little. But this is also why having all of this pressure and, and heaviness and aggression, that's why soft shirts don't, hard styles and hard shirts don't last long in their styles. Their joints rip up. Their 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 uh, uh, muscles become broken and tear and torn. But that's the state of this. If you are constantly in light, and we all know, even in the universe, those things that shine brightest don't shine long. In the feminine principle versus the male principle. A man asked me once, why do I think women live longer? And I honestly had to tell him. I was like, in the, in the eye of the storm, when the winds are beating down on you, the water is beating down on you, a woman has the capacity to bend in that storm. She has the capacity to cry. She has the capacity to get out those stress hormones. And if you guys check, you can go check YouTube, Google it. Stress hormones are found in tears. So if she's crying, she's releasing stress. Yin is getting rid of too much of this. That means this circle has gotten bigger in this expanse. And it's only harmonious when it's a certain proportion. So as this begins to expand out that stress in that yin or that female factor that begins to open up in order for her to get this proportion back, okay? In order for her to get this proportion back, okay? This has to be shrunk back into proportion if it's getting too big. How does a woman do that? She expresses it. That's the only way to get rid of it. She cries. She yells. She jumps up and down. She bitches. She moans. She groans. She get on the phone with her girlfriend. Ah, you, you can't believe what he did. Ah, ah. All of that, all of that drama is to pull this back into proportion for herself. Everything in this proportion. Yes, yes. Let's look over here at the male side. Men, on the other hand, in this yang proportion, okay? Men have a very hard time expressing this yin factor, this quietness, this introspection, this, this ability to stop, reevaluate, rethink, and then come back into the state. We live in a male-dominated society where things are go, go, go. 
So this quietness is not honored. So like on this side where it got bigger, on this side, it gets smaller. And it gets smaller because she's not, she is not expressed within the he. Gentlemen, when the last time you cried out a problem? Hmm. When's the last time you sat down with somebody and really emotionally expressed yourself? And not aggressively. Not this aggression. But this emotion. Men hardly ever express their emotions. And in this society, we're also teaching our women not to express what they're mostly made of. Oh, woman, you being too emotional. That's what she mostly is. So you're basically telling her that her nature is not good. She should not be acting within her nature. What you're telling her is she should be acting within this nature and then wonder why she's not acting feminine. Well, you told her that the nature of the femininity, which is the heightened emotion she shouldn't be. So you're kind of contradicting. Brothers, you're setting yourself up with that one. And then you wonder why she's not soft and demure. Why she's hard and loud. Why she's not soft-spoken and quiet. Why she always Got something to say, being all rude. See the two different aspects? So don't, don't, don't double talk yourself. Both, I'm going to say again, both have their aspects. And both are good within their own natures. And I think this changed into something that it shouldn't have changed into. But it'll stand. Till next time, guys, remember... Yang, aggressive, unfeeling, unyielding. Yin, yielding, soft, passive, enveloping. Acknowledge both sides in their proportion. I'll see you guys later. Salam, shalom, hotep. This is Fundi Fi. Always got my ear to the street, y'all. I hear you when you're talking. Salam, shalom, hotep. Till next time. Peace.